Hello everyone, my name is Nathan Schwausch and I'm one of the hybrid college advisors for Senton High School. Today I'm going to talk to you all about writing college application essays. For a lot of students in the college application process, writing the essays can be one of the more uh, time-consuming and sometimes challenging parts of submitting your college application. But I'm going to give you all some tips and insight on how to approach these application essays so that we can uh, make them as easy and manageable as possible, okay? So first of all, um, talking a little bit about the basics of these application essays. Most schools uh, will ask students to write one of three prompts. There's essay prompt A, B, and C. The most popular of these three prompts is essay prompt A, which we'll go over a little more in a minute. Now, as far as which prompts schools will ask you to write about, that can vary by school. Some schools may require essay prompt A. Some schools may, may list essay prompt A as optional. Some schools may list an optional requirement of essay prompts A, B, or C. So it's really up to the student to do the research um, and figure out which uh, essay prompts the schools are requiring them to write about. And if a prompt is listed as optional, we highly recommend that students go ahead and write that essay because even if it is not a requirement for the application, the essays may still be reviewed for holistic review purposes. If a student doesn't meet the automatic admission criteria, they could be reviewed for major selection. If a student is applying to a competitive major like engineering or business, or it could also be used in the scholarship review process. For example, Texas State in San Marcos lists essay prompt A as optional, but if a student is applying for the university's scholarships, they are required to submit essay prompt A. So it's important that you review which prompts the schools are requiring or listing as optional that you submit. As far as writing these essays, it's important to try to keep them relatively short. Keep in mind that the admissions counselors read countless essays every day, every week. Um, so you wanna try to keep it relatively short and sweet, probably about five to 600 words per, per essay. Um, and when I talk about the writing process, I think it's important for students to view writing as a process. It's not something that you have to do where you just sit down and write the entire essay from beginning to end in a few hours. Take a little bit of time where you do one activity one day, and one day maybe you brainstorm what you want to write about. Another day, maybe you write an outline. Another day, you work on your rough draft. And then another day, you get it revised. So if you break it into manageable chunks, it'll be a lot easier for you to write the essay. It'll be a more well-rounded product, and it'll be a lot more manageable for you in the long run. A lot of students always ask me, you know, what is the point of this application essay? Why do I need to write the essay? This essay is really important because it's a chance for you to show admissions officers part of yourself that's not necessarily reflected in other parts of the application. The admissions counselors can see, you know, that if you make good grades or if you scored really highly on the SAT or ACT, what they can't tell from your transcript or from your test scores are what is important to you as a person. What are your values? What are you like as a student? What sets you apart from everyone else that's applying to the university? There's not necessarily a magic answer to what they are looking for in the essay, but generally speaking, a lot of admissions counselors are looking for qualities that suggest that you'll be a successful student. So qualities like maturity, um, determination, hard work, respect, self-awareness, et cetera. They wanna see what makes you unique, and they also wanna see that you're gonna fit in in that campus community, that you're going to be successful in that community. So this is an opportunity for you to express yourself and, and show colleges what is important to you. So what should these applications, generally speaking, look like? So these are personal essays that are going to focus on you. Of course, you're going to use the word I a lot. Make sure that you refer to yourself in the first person. It's okay to say, I did this, I did that, I believed, etc. Don't say, don't talk about yourself in the third person, like, from this day on, Jonathan decided never to fail again. No, that sounds weird when you're writing about yourself. Talk about yourself using I. And they should, these essays should sound like you. You know, if you're funny, be funny. Insert some humor. 
If you're serious, be serious. If you're sarcastic, include sarcasm. Make sure that these stories that you tell in these essays are um, stories that you can reflect on that demonstrate uh, important values about you, but they don't necessarily have to be something life-changing. They don't have to be a story about how um, you went from last place um, in the standings uh, for your division in football to state championship in one year. It can be a story about how maybe you just, you failed a test and you decided that you never wanted to fail a test again, that, so you decided to study and keep working hard to make better grades. You know, it doesn't have to be anything groundbreaking or life-changing. So let's go ahead and look at the different prompts that are on the Apply Texas um, essay prompts. So the first prompt is essay prompt A, and it says, tell us your story. What unique opportunities or challenges have you experienced throughout your high school career that have shaped who you are today? So when we're looking at this prompt, it's asking us to do two things. So first, it's asking us to talk about ourselves, tell your story. So they want to see what makes you unique. The admissions committee wants to hear about you. What opportunities or challenges have you faced in your life, in your high school career? Um, they, they want to hear about you. They want to hear your story. So that's the first part. Secondly, they want to talk, they want you to talk about how those opportunities or challenges have shaped who you are today. So first we're focusing on who and what. So who you are and what are these opportunities or challenges that you have faced in your high school career. Once you have established the who and what, they want you to talk about how the opportunities or challenges impacted who you are today. So let's brainstorm this a little bit. So the key to this essay is answering the how, talking about how these opportunities or challenges influenced you, how they impacted who you are. So first let's look at some, pop, some personal values or beliefs. What personal values do you want to emphasize to the reader? That could be something like hard work, determination, honesty, um, respect, empathy. These are just a few things that you could think of. So first, let's start out by looking at these values that you want to express to the reader. Once you have figured that out, we're going to reverse engineer. We're gonna start from the end and work back. So once you know what you wanna emphasize, find an opportunity or challenge that helps demonstrate that to the reader. So think about your high school career and what are some opportunities or challenges that you faced that speak to that value or belief that you want to write about. So there are several ways that we could structure this, but here's an idea for a basic outline for this essay prompt. So in the first paragraph or two, talk about the event, talk about the opportunity or challenge that you faced. Next, describe how that made you feel. So what was your reaction? What did you think? How did you respond? Lastly, we wanna talk about what you learned from this experience. And really this is one of the most important parts of this essay because you're setting the groundwork, you're talking about um, the event or the occurrence, you're talking about how it made you feel, but you really want to hit it home by talking about how you responded and what you learned from this experience. Why is it an important experience to you? Did you grow from this experience? If so, how did you grow? How does that impact your current uh, beliefs and your current attitude? This is where you really want to focus on this essay. Next, let's look at essay topic B. So topic B reads, most students have an identity, interest, or a talent that defines them in an essential way. Tell us about yourself. Again, there's two parts of this essay. First, it wants you to choose one identity, interest, or talent that you wanna discuss. Keyword here is it asks about identity, interest, or talent. When I've had students write about this prompt in the past, there's the temptation to read it as identity, interest, and talent, which can turn into a very convoluted essay and really long essay. So just choose one thing about yourself, an identity, interest, or talent that defines you. So if you're a football player, 
Maybe you have a talent as an athlete. If you uh, raise animals, if you've been in FFA for a long time, in 4-H, that could be an interest. Choose something that defines you in an essential way. Now you want to show how that defines you. So first we're picking what the identity, interest, or talent is. Once you have selected that identity, interest, or talent, you want to show how that defines you. How does that, again, develop those kind of values that you want to talk about? So similar to topic A, let's look at what are some values that you want to demonstrate to the reader, honesty, integrity, hard work, those kind of values. Then think about what identity, interest, or talent sets that, sets that up for you. How does that define you, okay? So you really want to talk about what makes you unique and how that prepares you for success at the next level. So again, the trick in the final paragraph for topic B is to focus on the quality or qualities you have as a result of this identity, interest, or talent. For example, if you're a great guitarist, you could say, I'm a great guitarist, and mastering the guitar has helped me learn X, Y, or Z. As a football player, I've, I've experienced a lot of adversity and that has helped me learn to never give up no matter what the score on the scoreboard is. The best essays are going to talk about how this identity, interest, or talent has prepared you for college life. And if you're gonna tell a story, just keep in mind that, like I said earlier, these stories don't necessarily have to be groundbreaking. It doesn't have to be how you were on student council and helped implement an anti-cyberbullying initiative at the high school. Stories about failures can be just as powerful and memorable because you still learn from failures. You still develop certain values or beliefs from failures. Lastly, let's look at essay prompt C. So here, it, this one's a one of the more open-ended and interesting of the three prompts. It says, you got a ticket in your hand. Where will you go? What will you do? What will happen when you get there? So again, this is a really open-ended prompt that gives you an option to be creative. So if you're funny, be funny. Let your sense of humor, let your personality really shine in this prompt. So there are so many different ways that you can go with this prompt. Like I said, it's really open-ended. So first, here's some ways to brainstorm. First, let's think about where are some places you wanted to go? Come up with a few. Maybe you've always wanted to go to Australia. Maybe you've always wanted to go to Europe. But you don't necessarily have to limit yourself to current places on Earth. You could say, you know, maybe if I wanted a, if I wanted to go somewhere, I would go to the ancient Roman Empire. I would go to Mars. I would go back to the early 1900s. Second, why would you want to go there? Once you think about where you want to go, why do you want to go there? I want to go to Australia because I love traveling. I love being in the outdoors. I've always wanted to explore the outback. I want to go to the Roman Empire because I've always been fascinated by ancient civilizations and learning more about people who came before me. Think about then, what have you always wanted to do? Who have you always wanted to meet? Maybe you want to go back, like I said, to the early 1900s and interact with an old family member. Or maybe you want to go back to the 90s and go to a, con a Nirvana concert. Um, think about which of these can help you express your personality the most. Which one gives you enough content to write? One answer that I would say to avoid would be, well, I've got a ticket. I'm going to go to UT Austin because I want to be a Longhorn. It's been a lifelong dream of mine. I want to go to Aggie land because I've, I've come from a family of Aggies and it's a lifelong dream made to be an Aggie. Don't do that. Like I said, look through these other options of yours and think about what is something you've always wanted to do. You've always wanted to go find a way to be creative and illustrate your true personality. So this essay could potentially be shorter than the other two that we've talked about. But it doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, first, what I would recommend is talking about, again, where you would want to go and why. 
explain why you want to go there. What does that show about you? You know, I really love 1990s music. I love 90s grunge. So I want to go back to the 90s where I can experience Nirvana in person before the end. Um, what does that show about you? Then secondly, you would talk about what you would do there or what happens there. Offer as much detail as possible. Be creative. Draw connections to the reader about what these places say about you and your interests and your values. Show them that you can reflect on yourself, that you can draw connections. Okay. All right. So just a few final thoughts. Key thing, be yourself. You be you. You're awesome. You're interesting. And whether you believe it or not, you're different than every other person that's applying to this school. Your job is to demonstrate it. Remember that you want to present the best version of yourself. So make sure that you proofread your essays. Find someone that you trust to read it over for you, whether that's a friend, family member, English teacher, counselor, college advisor. Um, find someone to read it over for you and give you some feedback. Better yet, read your essay out loud to yourself. You may not realize how some of the sentence structure or phrasing sounds until you read it out loud to yourself. And lastly, just remember, you got this. These essays can be intimidating, but you've already made it through 12 years of school. So you've got this, you can do this, and I believe in you. Remember, if you ever need any help with essay writing, have any questions, you can always let me know. Um, I'm always here to help you all out, whether um, you want to call me, text me, or email me. I'm always around to help you all out and give any advice that I can, okay? Thank you, and have a great day.